What is going on, everybody? Today, we're going to be going over Tinkaton for the Terror Raids. Because, honestly, Tinkaton has a very strong attack. And I just love bunking stuff with a hammer. So, let's get into it. So, to start off, Tinkaton is a Fairy Steel type. And that typing itself is very good. They did not give Tinkaton the best stats. But, with the way it's actually working, we can actually do quite a bit. So, its Terror type is going to be Fairy or Steel depending on what you catch it at. Honestly, you could go either way. I would say maybe you wanna go steal, but if you are actually hitting stuff for more than three times, you could Terra. If you're not, then there's no point. Now, for the held item, there are a few options here. I like running leftovers. Tinkaton does not have a very good defense stat at all. Like, it's really bad. But with leftovers, you're able to heal while you get set up. You could run a life orb if you are trying to actually get a max out of i'm gonna hit it one time or if you are gonna go for multiple hits you could go for shell bell the way i use it is i use leftovers so i can constantly heal or you could just run a berry but i like leftovers because as you set up you can just constantly get your health back now let's get into the moves so to get into the moves we have play rough gigaton hammer light screen and swords dance so you are actually a fairy steel type and you actually have very good moves. So play rough is your best stab for your fairy type. Honestly, it has a chance to lower the target's attack stat, which is very good because again, you don't have the best defenses. So if you can actually get that drop, it's a big win. Now getting onto gigaton hammer, this move is gonna be the thing that makes stuff go boink. Because honestly, a 160 attack it does have a drawback because if you use it, you can't use the move twice in a row. But that's fine because we have play rough or light screen or swords dance. Now, coming off of this Pokemon, again, not having the best stats, but this move technically making up for it, <laughs> you can pretty much one shot stuff if you if you're set up. That's just that's just crazy. A 160 attack stat is crazy. If you are actually able to hit three times and tear it into steel there is no way anything is going to live this you can only use this move five times so you might want to pp max this maybe not it's up to you so now you have light screen which is going to reduce special type moves coming in for five turns very good very solid option because it helps put up screens for everybody and then you have swords dance what swords dance is going to do is sharply boost your attack stat which you're actually really going to want because if you can get two to three swords dances off and then gigaton hammer, you can almost guarantee a KO every time, especially if they don't resist you. If they resist gigaton hammer, obviously I wouldn't really bring it, but can actually hit them with gigaton hammer with those attack buffs. You are going to be doing a lot of damage. So now let's jump over to the spreads. So we can see what we're kind of working with here. So jumping into the spread and the abilities. First, let's go ahead and start with the ability because honestly, you're kind of going to want own tempo. What own tempo lets you do is you're not affected by intimidate. So if you come across a Gyarados, an Arcanine, something like that, it won't be able to intimidate you and go ahead and drop your attack stat, which is what you're really, really hoping to use with this Pokemon. You can also be prevented from being confused. Again, very big because you could hit yourself. Now, jumping into the spread, I'm running a full HP and full attack investment with four defense. What that means is honestly, we're gonna try and live as long as possible and dish out as much damage as possible because we're also gonna be running an adamant mint. That's a 252 HP, 252 attack and four defense. Now starting off, everything is bottle capped except special attack. So level 100, fully bottle capped because we're not gonna be using our special attack. I'm not wasting a bottle cap to do that. For a 374 HP, very solid HP stat. An attack stat is a 273, just short of 300. Yes, that is lower than some Pokemon that we already have that we can use. But if you wanna use Tinkaton, you're able to use this because a 273 with a plus six coming off a 160 base damage move. And then you got a Kalkin stab you just get a one shot stuff and just have fun doing it now going into our defense we are 191 again 
does not like taking physical defense moves, but if you are able to get with online with somebody with like a reflect or have something like that, perfectly fine to do that. But defense that not very good. For speed, we're going to be running a 224, an okay speed tier. I personally don't see any use in doing speed in terror raids because no matter what, you're just going to get hit and you're going to hit. So it's not like a competitive battle where you need to go first to knock them out. You're just going in, setting up, and going to hit. Special defense, we're 246. So actually, with a light screen, you're very specially bulky, which is very, very solid. You know, if you are looking at those defenses and you're like, wow, we have a really bad physical defense, you can do a more invested physical defense or just swap out light screen for reflect. Because honestly, I have found that you can actually just interchangeable. If you do want to have more survivability, you would go in, swap light screen for reflect and be able to reflect on turn one, which cuts all physical attacks in half. So then you can be more survivable go ahead start swords dancing and then just bring down the hammer now in this terror raid you're going to see that i come in i do have light screen on this set and honestly it is interchangeable but we are able to get in here we're able to do our swords dance and then we're able to just bring the hammer down and smack this pokemon all the way down like we win so easy doesn't really do anything to us and it's just fun i mean Tinkatan is going to be that Pokemon that is, like, it's pretty much going to be a laughing stock, but also that Pokemon that, like, if you make it mad, it is going to just hit you with that hammer as hard as possible, which makes it a very fun Pokemon to use. But, as you see, we are able to take it down and complete the raid pretty easy. Now, this is my Tinkaton set. It is very fun. This is what I found to be very useful. Again, keep in mind that you can switch your terror type and you can switch light screen for reflect. That's all personal preference. And honestly, for me, I do switch light screen and reflect quite a bit, depending on what I'm going against. It's really, really fun. So if you found this one helpful and you are now going to be using Tinkaton to bring the hammer down in terror raids, go ahead, drop it a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next build.